so when you're doing a contour line drawing, basically what you're doing is you're trying to draw a picture which is one singular line. Um, it's how the wire moves, it's how everything happens. You did your name so that we would know what to do with that. Can you stop? What we did your name so that you would know how the wire would work and the shapes that you could make. Um, this is kind of a goofy picture from Mac, of Max, but it might work mm. out. And it's one that's got a full face. So when we, when you can use your pictures, which generally I like using stuff I like, just because if I'm going to work on it for that amount of time, I should kind of like enjoy the drawing. What you're doing with a contour line drawing, I usually start with the eyes, is you are outlining things so that, and you're just keeping it all together, trying to make sure that you've got all the information. One of the things about a contour line drawing is that it follows the contours of the shape. Who knows what a contour is? Can anybody talk to me? Because I can't look up right now. Nobody knows you've never heard the word contour before? No. Nope. You've heard of it. What did it describe when you heard of it? What's the contour of a shape? Never heard of it. You never heard of the word contour? Okay, so a contour kind of follows the lines. It follows the way things are shaped. It follows like the, the circle parts of things. Like, is his cheek flat or is it kind of rounded? The line that you use to describe his cheek or his chin or something like that will kind of give you an idea of the shape of something. Like, when we were looking at those sculptures yesterday, you know how we had the fish? And I was telling you that the outside of the fish, you can tell by the way that the contours stay, that it's kind of rounded. Right now, I'm chasing the outlines of the shades and the shadows, and shade and shadow is really the only thing that makes something, a dif makes a line. It's basically the difference between colors and things like that. So with his hair, it gets really kind of confusing because it was already crazy. It looks like the heat miser, doesn't he? Ms. Mormon. Um, Ms. Mormon. Yeah. Can I send you a picture of me? You doing, you doing to me? So that's Max, right? And if we look at it with the picture under it, it's there. If I pull this up, hold up. So then if we take away the... um. The drawings there, this would actually be a decent contour line drawing, and it would be kind of a cool wire sculpture. One of the things that you have to think about though is you're already taking and making it, you're simplifying it just by doing a contour line drawing. You're simplifying everything. You're just taking some of the, the main parts and points to it. He looks like Damien Evil's child. There doesn't be. Um, so you're simplifying these pieces and these parts. What ends up happening is you just keep doing. You, and then once we do the wire, the wire will also simplify it. On, so it on, just it gets to the point where you kind of just breaking everything down to its simplest parts, to its lines kind of a thing, and then trying to do that out of wire. Pretty much all of these shapes on here I could probably make. It would get a little convoluted. The one that I showed you yesterday that, a, that my student did last year, he had a lot of different lines on there and a lot of different stuff, but still that was an, it was a simplification from the photograph and then from to the drawing, and then from the drawing to the wire. So you have to kind of remember. As I said before, faces look really good because we look at faces every day. So it's, those are really pretty recognizable almost immediately. You want something that somebody's familiar with because then your brain's going to go in and say, oh, I know what that is. That's this, and it's going to start to look for information for it. When we talk about, like, I can stop lines and start lines, and I can put in lines that don't necessarily belong there. If you look at this picture... This line that's in between his eyebrow and his eye almost kind of falls away because you don't need it to be there in order to gain enough information to do something, so you can trick your eye. It's the same kind of concept um, when if you have a line that kind of breaks, your brain still wants to make that one continuous line. I can go through here, I can draw this, I can stop and start, and I can do that and just give you enough information, and your brain will automatically continue that. Okay, so that's a contour line drawing. You can do them with tracing paper. You can do eight and a half by 11 ones. You can do large if you want to come up here and we can project it and it's all good. Okay, thanks.